The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and or themes that are not for people under the age of 13. Now on DVD, join Norman and his friends as they go through a journey of craziness in 10 episodes. It's about the renovation of Logo ID Studios. It gets even more crazier from there. Feel free to binge the first season of your favorite soap opera. Ruffle City, the complete first season. Buy it September 10th on DVD. How's it going everyone? Rufflecast is back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Scotty. You don't need to be that hyperactive. Sorry, Sam. I was just too excited for this episode to start. So am I. Because our awful cast is back in business. That took us four weeks to get there. Like, yo. And look what I got. The Raffle City Season 1 DVD. Nobody has gotten that DVD yet. And I'm one of the first people in La 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 Land to get it. Shut up. No way. There's actually a Raffle City DVD now. When can we watch it? Maybe it can wait until after this video is over. But, yeah, it's September, and while summer may be over, we're still here to entertain your Friday night. So, without further ado, let's talk about the recent changes that affected the G4PDV channel. In August 28th, G4PDV hired new collaborators, such as Ben Gerb, Alex, and Chloe. Yup, you heard right. Alex and Chloe are now managers of the G4PDV channel, just like the G4PDV Gaming, a role that both Alex and Chloe have served since May. Alex and Chloe will be uploading episodes of existing G4PDV shows, most notably the G4P Burst or TG1994 shows, whenever Norman's busy with other content. Personally, I really do like this change, because it feels much better with G4PDV having more collaborators than ever. Wait, why then curved? Is he also going to upload it content on G4PTV as well? I don't know. But the very cool thing about this permissions feature on YouTube Studio is that it can help you add managers, editors, or whoever to your channel. It's very useful, if you want to add collaborators to your channel to have someone else upload stuff to the same channel, and perhaps help the owner manage the comments. For example, if some random troll account makes a ridiculous comment, that manager will simply delete that comment or block that user for it. Well, it's nice to have Alex, Chloe, and Ben Curd getting the manager roles to the channel, because it would make the channel more unique with collaborators uploading stuff on the G4PTV channel. That's nice. But, there is something else that I forgot to tell you. Christopher Price has just returned to G4PTV for the third time in a row. You may remember him in a controversial incident he caused in the G4PDV Discord server back in February 2023 that led to him being banned, but he returned a year later, and then he got banned again over something that I'd rather not explain in this video. But now, fast forwarding to September 1st, Christopher Price once again came back, and this time, I really hope he doesn't cause another controversy, or worse. If Chris is watching, please behave and learn what you're doing. Yes, you may beg at times, but please don't overuse that, but asking is different. So please, keep it together and play nice. And don't cause another drama. Exactly. Now, with Chris back, it's possible that he will be returning to the G4 Beavers. He is expected to appear in a new video that Harvey will be mentioning in the G4 Beavers news later in the program. Now, this week was the beginning of TEG1994's Big Brother Season 3, and it was 17 housemates moving in. However, the three watchers were secretly hiding somewhere in the house for four days, before they entered the house to meet the others. 
today, Maggie Pesky, yes, the fly rock star diva herself, was the first to go. And what's crazy is that Jack Paul is actually in it. How cool is that? How about we wreck the questions? Good idea. Let's do it. Alright, Rafa Robot, do you still have the questions the fans sent from four weeks ago? Yes, Sam. I still have the questions, but I can't remember how many questions are they. But let's see what the first question brought us. The Sub Norbert asks, can you make this the first question? Well, it's already the first question, so no problem. Are you exiting for Shrek 5? Yes, although it feels like forever. You know what I mean. Are you sad about noggin closing? Can you please quit it with a noggin crap? We already get it. We all know that Noggin is dead, so stop asking questions about that. Sorry. Brian Animates asks, Hey guys, what are your favorite shows from the CTC universe? Well, my favorite show is Motorola Ride and Loopers. Yes, I am referring to the Alex Chapman one, and the other is Alex's MM Bloopers. And I don't like it. I feel... Ugh, jealous. Are you kidding me? That ladybird again? We were just going through one peaceful Friday night and then this happens. Oh, Barnaby! It's getting worse! Oh! No, no, stop! No, you mess up mine, so it's only fair! It's not! Ugh! Holy shnikes! Lou's gone crazy. I guess that's what happens when we fool with Lou way too much. Moving on. Is Norman going to delete his old channels, like Norbica 9 Video, Job and Rossman Studio and many others? Or he could just keep them as archived channels, I don't care. Do any of you guys know some British slang words? Actually, I only know one. Mate. Raffle 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 raffle. Hey Mary, what is your favorite attraction? I have loads of favorites. One of them is that one attraction that made me and Mike fall in love the first time we went there. Ooh la la. Hey Scotty, what toys did you like as a kid? Harvey. Scotty what the f- Will you forget my character again? No, never. What the heck did I just watch? In the Go Animate asks, Hey guys, did you know that Five Nights at Freddy's is becoming a racing game? Now this is getting ridiculous. They made an RP game, then a movie, and now a freaking kart racing game. What on earth are they gonna make next? Is Action 41 News gone crazy continuing? No, because Norman is no longer interested into doing the show anymore, since Michael Picker disappeared. Well, surely Michael couldn't be gone because he is still out there. On Steam, that is. What is your thoughts on Hollister Runner? It's good. The only opinion I ever had on this. Galactic Warrior 9 asks, Hey Sam, if you had a Jojo stand, what would you name it? You're welcome. Huh? Hey Anna, what's your favorite movie? Well... My favorite movie is High School Musical because I used to grow up watching it. Isn't that a Disney film? So gang, what do you think of the Mr. Beast drama? I'd rather not go there. This situation is far more worse than I thought. Phantom Dude 380 asks, Hey Sam, what is your favorite Fox animated show besides Family Guy and The Simpsons? Bob's Burgers. That's one cartoon I can pick. What's your favorite sports brand, Nike, Adidas or Puma? I'm with Nike all the way. Get it? Nike? Because it rhymes with Mike? Ha 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 ha. What is 8000 plus 1000? What is this? Are we in math class right now? If it's 8000 plus 1000, what do you get? Over 9000. Do you think Has Been Hotel should just be cancelled due to the fact it supports Satanism? That's exactly what I was asking. Well, I could agree with that, because this show is starting to get a bit brain rot. 
And no, I'm not trying to be rude or get cancelled, it's just my opinion. No it ain't. Do you think Logo Blooper series should have more crossovers and have more comedy with swearing and dark humor like T-Bird? Yes I'm referring to you Bazabagan and Thunderbirds 501. That would be a pretty cool idea, if I do say so myself. Do you guys think Disney should stop making live action adaptations and should stop treating their own franchises and their IPs like shit just for the money? For once, we agree. What's your opinion on DC's Harley Quinn and My Adventures with Superman? Well, they're good shows, although I haven't seen them yet. YoshiTube asks, hey, Mary. Do you know the Disney Channel kids show premise got boycotted for be offensive to Mexican and Hispanic people and one of them has got a word that translate to fatty but removed name replaced? There is no way that this show would ever exist. I hope they cancel it before its premiere. Too late, Mary. That show already premiered a couple of months ago. Curse you, Disney. Do you all think season 2 of G4P2B's, or TEG 1994, Big Brother, is the worst so far? Well, we can all agree, that given by the events that have unfolded, such as Bo's bullying and eviction, re-intusejection, and many other crap that have happened, this was indeed the worst season of all time. But at least the third season is an improvement, I think. Do you know Netflix hit series Squid Game Season 2 is coming 26th of December, with the third and final season on 2025? I'm so hyped for this, bro. Pixel Noob Kid 55 asks, Sam, what is your thoughts of- No 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 no! I'm sick and tired of wasting my guts off reading all those questions. I just want to go home and sleep. We're skipping that- <laughs> What, hey? What are you doing? If you dare skip that question again, that bullet will go straight to your head. You got that? Now just shut up and answer his questions right now. Okay, 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 okay. We will. Oh, actually, you know what? We changed our mind. Because Pixel Noob Kid 55 has been acting so annoying on Discord that we decided not to read out his questions entirely. He is now banned and won't be asking questions again. So that's why I was being stressed out the whole time. Screw the queuing day. Let's just head to the G4P verse news. Hello everyone, here are the major top stories for today. After what felt like nearly a year, G4P TV's NBC Peacock logo bloopers is finally making a return with season 2 premiering tomorrow. The script was written a week ago, so we should be ready to get this video up and running ASAP. Then, we have a new G4P TV's funny memes video coming up, and this will be the first G4P verse video to have Christopher Price returning after his band earlier in March. Then, in related to the G4P verse, a new TEG 1994 soap opera, Families, will be premiering on September 9th, which could be a replacement for the word family, or who knows what. The serial will consist of 11 episodes, all of which are co-written by Ramon Goodship, Norman Jones, and Courage Fanatic 2024. Recently, Courage Fanatic 2024 leaked the episode titles for the season, and this is what I managed to obtain in this document. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to show that, I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Anyway, that's all for now. Well, now that we got everything out of the way, it's time to end the- Not just yet, idiots. Oh come on, we were just about to end the video and then this protester comes in. I mean, why can't we ever get through at least one episode without that? What is this regarding? In July 2024, we filed a trademark on the new Rod Volkus logo and one said that this new logo would be introduced in the new season, but it still hasn't been introduced yet. Listen, we only just switched the video and it's too early to change the logo and intro. I don't care. I've been waiting two months for the new logo to come out, but nothing happened. Look, Norman will add it, when he feels like- When he feels like it? Are you serious? Norman would never yet it, and it's a stupid mistake. It's about time you listened to us for once. What are you talking about? I mean it very clearly. This is your last chance. 
I want the new logo to be implemented by next Friday, and if it doesn't happen, this podcast will be over. What? Yes, you heard me. We'll cancel this podcast. We'll remove it from every platform it is streaming on, like YouTube Music and Spotify, and remove every single Rockfall cast video from YouTube, and also remove other videos that mention it. Do you understand? Just implement the new logo, or I'll lock all of you in an abandoned dungeon and have you all lynched. Okay, 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 okay. We hear you. We'll add the new logo. Just please don't hurt us. I'll be watching you. Man. That woman was creepy. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.